Right, so I still haven't repaired this last cell up top. My finger, and there, that cell. Still haven't repaired that cell. But I have uh, attached uh, balance leads using the cores from the uh, Dell power supply. They're all cut to the same length and I've just temporarily glued it in there just to keep it away from each other. So yes, balance connector needs to be cut and sorted, but I also didn't lay war mark the cores. So I don't know which black goes to which black terminal and which white goes to which white terminal. So I've got to test that out uh, shortly. So I'm going to do uh, them today and I'm also going to do uh, the uh, XT60 for the 24 volt side. Put the hinges on, take it to the shed and once it's in the shed it won't be coming indoors anymore. So yes, that's what we're going to do. So my Roby tech ball meter stopped working, so I can only assume it's the battery. Um, I haven't actually charged it since I bought it, so I think it got charged once. But now comes the problem, I don't actually know where my um, meter is. So I'll have to get the works one out for the minute. And we're just going to test for resistance, so it shouldn't be too bad. Swap these fucking old clips. One, two, and of course, just uh, yeah, actually, in the tray, this is called um, belling it out or megaring it. This is a mega, but people don't like it when you call it a mega, and it's uh, they've got a different brand, so uh, mega is the trade name, so it's not that one, not that one. Probably one of the short ones. Not that one. So it must be the shortest. Click. Hmm. Yeah, I wonder what the resistance is between that then. Let's zero that. Zero. So from the bottom of the buzz bar to the end of that. 0 0.02 ohms. That's good. Well, at least we know what that one that is now. But now we have to mark it, so hopefully this tipex is good. Uh, it's not looking good. Um, tipex is at it. Oh, there's another one in here somewhere. That's not looking good either. Oh, I was going to use Tipex to mark these cables. Damn. Okay, then go in the bin. Some insulation tape for now with a black mark, uh, blue marker pen. So that I have to do until I get some more white marker off Tipex. Going for number two. Got number two straight away. That's good. Making good progress. Haven't got any lighter insulation tape either, so. Green I'll have to do. I put two dashes on that. One pen. That one didn't work. Dash, dash. Going for number three. I want to get this up and running quite quickly. I might just pop these in 5 amp connectors in the back for now and solder them at a later date. I'm doing this. Kind of in a hurry, and that must be the full form, but we'll check it. Hmm. 
Yeah, it's the fourth one. Right, I've decided, yeah, may as well just tin them all and solder them. It's not going to take much longer now than it would have done. And these wires are so spindly, you'd have to tin them before you put them in a connector block anyway, otherwise you'd just rip all the cores out. Right, so I had to actually go out and plug the balance lead in to see actually what side was negative because these aren't particularly well labelled. They've just got dots and dashes and X's and all sorts. And I thought I marked one blue. I did. So the blue one is far negative. It looks like someone's just got out of bed as well. Uh, I wonder if that will go straight on there. Oi! Oi! Don't you start. Yeah, that kind of worked. It's good. <laughs> Easier said than done this. Especially with a camera in front. <laughs> Neighbour is well and truly awake now. Balance connectors are soldered together and uh, heat shrinked. I've just over sleeved it with a bit of this uh, cable wrap. I, I can't find it anymore, so uh, I'll have to see what if I can find out what it's called and order some bulk online. Actually, no, I've got a bit more there. That's the last of it. Um, so balance these come outside and so is the XT60 connector. I've just got to figure out which end is meant to be where. Uh, see what's on the charger. Um, XT60 until I um, sort out some Anderson connectors I suppose. Something a bit more, a uh, bit bigger and a bit more bulkier. Um, so yeah. And some 4mm flex for now because I haven't got any higher uh, cross-sectional area flex it's covered in fluff already uh, and wholesalers don't stock anything bigger than 4mm so this 4mm heat resistant will have to do uh, well probably will do for the XC60 but when it comes to Anderson connectors we'll uh, try and attach something a little bit bigger but to keep this project on the move that's what we're gonna go with I actually managed to pull the uh, earth out of about, I don't know, just over a meter's worth of this heat resistant flex. And then, where it was squishy, I just ripped a hole in the side and pulled the uh, live out, so, or positive. So we're gonna drape that around there somewhere like that. Get a couple of P clips, clip them on. Actually, they're a bit small, but might do. Just bend them flat. A couple of P clips, and uh, solder on somewhere. Uh, and that can go, we don't need that, earths. Yeah, and a P-clip for that. A couple of hinges, get this outside, load it with batteries, give it a quick charge with the, uh, ooh, oh, what is it, not opus, ooh, Tergy Axel 8, 150. And, uh, ooh, see how it goes. Well, some progress has been made. We're in the shed and it's on the wall. Um, the 4mm flex goes nicely into the uh, XT60 connectors and I haven't got any heat shrink big enough so we've had to go around it with electrical tape. Um, balance connectors just about reach on the right hand side as I hoped. The Tergy will sit under there. This trunking isn't fixed. Um, so for the purposes of servicing it. There's one screw in the top at the moment. I've got to ooh, cut some wood. It's hinged. Polystyrene is in the way. Uh, so when it comes to it, I'm going to get some bigger flex to put on here. Uh, I've just got the negative on there. I've got the positive on here. Uh, I've done it opposites. I don't know if it makes a difference if you do it opposites. Uh, I know with lead acid you're meant to do opposites on a, on a large bank, but 
I thought might as well. Um, P clip isn't big enough, uh, so it's half in there. I'm gonna get probably change that to a steel armor cleat, and that's okay. It's not too badly pinched on that corner. Uh, so I've put one row of cells in. Let's go back to the top view. Basically, um, I've made another lead up. We're going to test a couple of UPSs. It have to be tomorrow night now. Uh, test out, just give it a quick charge with the Turnergy. Um, make sure everything is working as it should. Um, da -da 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 -da. I can't think what else I was going to say. Yeah, so I've got some bits to order to finish it off. I don't know when they're going to arrive. Obviously, China, three, four weeks. Um, yeah, so we're going to test the uh, UPSs tomorrow and the charger. Um, um, I've had that charging a couple of packs, but I've got some concerns over it, which I'll have to highlight and uh, probably send the footage off to the eBay seller. But more tomorrow. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm pleased it's actually up in the wall. It's no longer in the living room. It's no longer going to go back into the living room. And uh, yeah, oh, it's cold out here actually. One more connection to make off, uh, flex the change, uh, put it up on the back, um, get some more balance leads actually a little bit longer maybe, uh, I don't know. Uh, as usual, put everything in the comments. I have I had some good feedback of a couple of people. Uh, Bobby's got a list of things, I think it's Bobby, um, a list of about seven things that I could improve, which is all good, and uh, we'll put that into Mark II. Um, I can't think of the top of my head. I've got lots of comments to reply to, so uh, we'll uh, w once I've got this all loaded with cells, we've tested the UPSs. We'll um, we'll do a, a a video where we just go back over all of the comments that we've got had, good, bad, and ugly. And uh, yeah, so I will see you uh, possibly tomorrow for the next instalment. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe, comment, rate, and I will see you in my next video. Cheers. I couldn't not leave you without a quick view of this. 28.4, There we go, a full cycle, seven cells, amazing. So yeah, I'll see you tomorrow for the next part of the video. <laughs>